Paul Beardman. Paul Beardman. It's Paul Beardman. We're so good at... St- Welcome back to Thorium. <laughs> Thor- Thorium Thursdays now? Thorium Thursdays. Thorium Thursdays. Hell yeah. Still not technically... Are we going to call that thing Let's Make a Game? Another series? Sure. If you're watching this, because some of you guys really like the Character Hub stuff, uh, we're going to start a new series, like, the exact same time that this goes out, about uh, another program we're going to show you. But this video, Elliot... Yes? <laughs> ...is about... How to save, because I don't know if anyone else has had issues, but um, in my opinion, making a character is super easy. It's, it's saving it that is annoying. So the first thing you need to know is that uh, Game Character Hub uses gch files. Gch files. Gch, G-G-C-H. Yes. Uh, I spooked myself. Really? We were do- we were Shut up. Um, so <laughs> <laughs> we're us- it uses gch files and um, RPG Maker VXAs. I'm, I'm assuming the other ones uses pung files, PNGs, PNGs, image files, um, and I'm assuming that people are using that one. Yeah. So what we have to do is we have to convert it, and it's super easy. So when you have your character, this is Paul B. Edmund. Paul B. Edmund. You click on file, go to save as. It's gooch file. You want to click that, switch it over to image, pung file, click save. You gotta name it. Paul. Beard man, man, okay, perfect. So, and I usually don't do it because it's annoying, but they will do it for you if you click yes. They put a, a dollar sign in front of the file name because, for some unknown reason to me, that is how VXAs needs to read it. So, I always say okay. yes. So, yes, do that. You can put your own, but I usually just let them do it. So, they're smarter than me. So, then we got hey. oh my god, we got this beautiful game. Look at it. <laughs> and uh, we want to get our character in. And you can do the exact same thing with the face. Um, faces. Or XP is the other one? Question mark? Yeah. Game Maker XP or the faces for VXA. So you can use either of those the exact same way. Um, except for this part. So you click on this little thing, these three little cards. That's your import resource manager is what that is. Mm-hmm. Did you know that? No. Well, I done taught you. So... <laughs> If you don't know, if you're like, I don't know what a character is, click on one, click on preview. Hey, look, that's what we have. We want one of those, right? Yeah. So you just click import. Uh, it should open you up to the right file if you have your you know, same characters in a file because mm-hmm. it'll, it'll find it for you. Right. So we're gonna op- we just click open. Uh, transparent and translucent color are the, is the black. What's translucent mean? I couldn't tell you. Me neither. Uh, I just leave it as it is. It knows what it's doing. If there's a mess up, then uh, you click on the spot in between the the mm-hmm. black spot. Right. Click OK. So now we can preview. Uh, you want that checkered behind him. That means invisible. Click close. So now if we just open and we want to change Eric over to our guy, he'll be right here. Cool. That's literally it. Holy shit. That's it. That is how easy it is to get it from one program to the other. I learned something did today. You, did I blow your mind? I, you blew my mind. I blew his mind. <laughs> so I hope you guys, I, if anyone needed that, I'm hope I'm. I'm glad we, we made the video just in case anyone needed it. If you guys have any questions, as usual, just leave them in the comments. And have a peachy day. Bye.